we're made of 100 trillion cells and the cells don't look that different right they don't look that weird they don't look that different from like a star or the halo of a galaxy or you know um or or most likely of a proton or you know and so um yeah i mean the accumulation of our cells may look weird but you gotta you gotta remember so so this is this is actually what we're finding is that you have this fundamental law right of scales of all the spheres right and it all comes out beautifully and then in between right you have the complexity of how the spheres arrange themselves right so you so you have the complexity on how like a hundred trillion cell will arrange a hundred trillion cell will express the information of the field right and that expression of the information of the field is you you are expressing a very specific part of the field and it's these expressions that are more complex they're more you know they're not just spherical they're they're more like you know elongated and but you can think of like why is a human elongated why is it not a sphere well a human is very close to the surface of an event horizon so a human is uh is undergoing uh what you could call tidal gravity right tidal gravity means that you have more gravity at your feet than at your head right because your feet are closer to the surface so you can think of a sphere becoming elongated like uh maybe like like the aura of your body right and then you can think of all the spheres that makes up the atoms 100 trillion cells and then each one made out of 100 trillion atoms right you can think of them like kind of building blocks of um coherent like because of this elongated field of information all the all the little spheres are like building the thing that this set of information that's elongated like a light ray coming off the surface of the sphere right and it, and it's making a little human being in there you see what i'm saying and that human being is just an expression of that field it's just an expression of the field in that particular coordinates of space-time meaning the field from that perspective in space-time is experiencing the world is gathering information from that very perspective and so your body is kind of like in that in that state right mm -hmm. this is why you look like you look and it's kind of weird compared to the rest but that's because you, you're looking at the surface of one of the spheres really closely and you're seeing the the more chaotic you know oscillations like the light rays coming off 